and the moment of truth, the interview we have been waiting for. And this brother right here is joining us on Zoom. He took some time off uh, his busy schedule just to join us on Zoom. He goes by the name Becker Flavor. He used to be a member Rob uh, Moto Band. Karibu sana, Ndobu. Can you hear me? Unanpata? Unanpata? Yeah, nakupata. Sante sana, mze. Alright, karibu sana kwenye wine in the morning. Bwana asante sana na shukuru sana. Aya? Yeah. Na kule Tanzania mna yanaendelea vipi? Ah, uh, Tanzania tunashukuru Mungu alhamdulillah. Tunaendelea. Haya matatizo yanaendelea ni sio ya Tanzania tu, ni matatizo ya yeah. everywhere ya Tanzania nzima, Kenya nzima, mm. dunia nzima kwa ujumla. Tupo mm. na tatizo saizi la kusumbuliwa na corona virus kwa hiyo Kwa mambo mengine tunashukuru mungu tuko safi kabisa lakini Corona uh -huh. kwa kweli ya tuko safi Hapo <laughs> sawa ni hata uh, sisi vile tu umesawa Hata sisi it's not a fairy tale on this side uh, So yeah. swali ni nasikia Tanzania mnaishi maisha tu ya kawaida Watu wanafanya vitu vyao kama kawaida Hakuna hakuna kafi, hakuna lockdown, lockdown. Hakuna isi uh -huh. Uh, ni kweli Tanzania tunaishi maisha yetu ya kawaida lakini serikali inajitahidi kutu, kutu, kutupa tahadhari yani inajitahidi kutoa tahadhari kwa wananchi wake kwa sababu unajua kila nchi ina ina ina, ina jinsi ya kuishi kama nchi na uongozi wake kwa hiyo sisi huku nadhani mheshimiwa rais wetu anajua maisha ya Tanzania wake raia wake utafutaji wao ni watu ambao wanatafuta leo wanapata leo wanakula leo uh -huh. kesho wanabidi waingie tena kazini watafute e, wapate wale uh -huh. kwa amejaribu kufikiria mara mbili mbili kama akiweka lockdown basi kana watu wakafa sio tena kwa corona bali wakafa tena kwa njaa na mara zingine kwa hiyo amejaribu kutuachia tuendelee kujitafutia kwa utafutaji wetu ambao tunatafutaga lakini kwenye utafutaji wetu tunachukua tahadhari kwa mfano ukiwa unaenda kwenye shughuli yako basi hakikisha umevaa maski umeona ile bara pia eh, sanitizer wewe una sehemu na maji safi ya kutiririka na sabuni ili uweze kuepukana na maradhi hayo ya maradhi hayo lakini kama hauna kazi au kama una jambo la msingi au tatiki kuonekana za msingi za watu bila sababu mm -hmm. serikali itakuchukulia hatua ukipatikana kwenye sehemu hizo lakini wow. hali inakuwa sio nzuri sana una tena idadi ya kila siku visa vipya vinaongezeka kitu kama kiukweli watu wanajitahidi kidogo kuchukua tahadhari kwa kindiki lakini kwa hivyo mm -hmm. mambo mengine yanaenda Asante sana kwa kwa hayo uh, swali ni corona uh, ni, ni, ni real uh, na obviously ime ime affect uh, vile una, una, una interact na mafans wako uh, yeah. kwa sasa obviously hauwezi fanya live shows hauwezi yeah. interact na mafans wako uh, personally yeah. uh, ime affect aje aje biashara yako ya muziki uh, well, kwa sisi wana muziki ime to affect hususan sisi wa Tanzania maana nimesikia Kenya rais bwana Kenyatta alijaribu kidogo kutoa budget kwa ajili ya wasanii kwa sababu mm -hmm. wanajua sasa hivi show afanye matamasha watu wanakaa nyumbani wamejika quarantine kwa lazima wapate chochote kitu kwa ajili ya kuendesha maisha mengine lakini kwa Tanzania haiko hivyo si serikali yetu haijaweka budget yote ya kuwapa wasanii na kipindi hiki hatufanyi tumefungua tufanye show tufanye tamasha laina yote mm -hmm. tuna tunaji quarantine nyumbani kwa sababu ukifanya tamasha ndio ile imekusa e, matamasha serikali na kila kitu tupo kwanza mpaka hali tutapokuwa shwari sasa mm -hmm. kuhusu kwetu tunaishi kwa sababu siwezi kuelewa wasanii wote kila msanii ana jinsi alivyojipangia maisha yake anaishi lakini kwa mungu mimi mimi na maisha ya wasanii saizi wengi yamekuwa ni magumu yani yani wengi si saizi yamekuwa ni magumu hususan wa Tanzania kwa sababu na sisi pia tunategemea tufanye show yani tusafiri tunakofanya tamasha eh, mkoa fulani eh, au nchi fulani Kenya labda wapi ndio tupate pesa tuweze kuendesha maisha yetu lakini tuweze kuendeshea muziki wetu hususan kama eh, kuna mambo ya kurekodi kuna mambo ya kushuti video kuna mambo ya kupromote vitu kama hivyo lakini kwa sasa atufanye show kwa sababu ya hili janga 
tupo tu nyumbani. Kwa hiyo maisha ya wasani wengi yamekuwa ni magumu. Ni magumu tena sana sababu wapati kipato cha kuendesha maisha yao kwa sababu walikuwa wajajiwekeza pia tofauti na mziki labda sehemu nyingine kuweza kupata chochote kitu umeona lakini kwangu mimi nashukuru kidogo Mwenyezi Mungu Aisha ni magumu lakini sio sana kwa sababu na, na sehemu nyingine ambayo naweza kuingiza 200 300 ambayo kanipata kula kwangu ukiacha kufanya tamasha kwa hiyo nikiwa kidogo biashara nyingine nimeni kabla kwa hiyo yeah uh-huh. Mm. So ni muhimu sana wasanii pia kuinvest katika vitu zingine ambazo si muziki. Mm. Yeah, ni muhimu sana yani kwa sababu uh-huh. unajua muziki kwanza ukiacha ili tatizo limetokea lakini muziki ni sehemu tu ya kupita. Yaani muziki ni sehemu ya mm-hmm. kupita hata iwe lakini kuna siku wewe sehemu yako inaisha kwenye muziki. Yaani hata uwe yani hata uwe una fanya vipi unatakisha timu yako kwenye muziki maana hauta unapata hela kupitia mki maana yake hauta kwa unafanya show hauta kwa unafanya chote kwa hiyo kama utakuwa events system nyingine uja events uja events system nyingine inakuwa ni tatizo kwa hiyo tunashauriwa sana tunapopata pesa yoyote kwenye muziki basi tuwekeze kwenye biashara nyingine sehemu nyingine tu invest huko kwa sababu mm-hmm. muziki uki, ukifeli basi tutaii tuendelea uh-huh. kuishi kwa maisha mengine na Aha, ni biashara sizo. Hii imekuja kama funzo ghafla tu limekuja gonjwa hilo. Lime tu lockdown bila tatizo, lime tu karantini. Kwa tufanye show size naona. Kwa kama ulikuwa hujawekeza mm. sehemu nyingine kupata hata 200 300 basi maisha lazima awe magumu sana. Kwa hiyo hii ni funzo na ni ushauri kwa wasanii wote. Tunatakiwa uh-huh. tuwekeze sehemu nyingine ukiacha mziki Safi kabisa. Uh, despite kila kitu tunaona umejikakamua kabisa uh, in a very short time uh, pale umekolabo yako na BN Melody yeah. na bado katoa ngoma yako ni poa poa. Uh, release uh, release uh, inabadilika hiyo culture ku release ngoma inabadilika. We seem to be having a technical hitch right there, uh, but that's uh, uh, Becca Flavor, a former member of the Amoto Band, and uh, he's here with us on Zoom, live on Zoom, on Y254, on Social Friday, on Y in the morning, uh, just to share with us uh, here the, uh, a few things about how the music industry is doing in Tanzania and about his new music, that is Poa Poa, and you can check his other songs here, Shie, uh, which is featured on by a brother called Bien uh, Melody. I only thought uh, we had a Bien in Kenya, but we, we seem to be having a Bien in Tanzania as well. Uh, remember DJ Bozi is in the building, the official Chunglo family DJ has been serving us the music, and uh, he's still here with us just to serve us all the way till 10 a.m. And remember, the weekend does not start here. It started yesterday on Hip Hop Thursday. We're just carrying on uh, with the weekend. We'll be having some entertainment news for you as well. Remember, na joku na mafanzo entertainment news wa mafanzo wa chai. Atujawasao, tutawapatia ina jifi kwa sasa kuleni ngoma and let's get it.